Oh, see, if you say something uh, like it's going to rain, we were just talking about it, um, it's a little vague, but then if you say it's going to stop at 10 and you say it with your whole heart, it really will just stop at 10. <laughs> So it stopped right on time for everybody to start. That's uh, right. How does that affect things so far? Well, um, we've had a couple of folks choose to only exhibit on Sunday uh, because not the rain. They're not afraid of the rain. They're worried about the wind advisory. Uh, so we have a lot of more kind of fragile art <laughs> that needs to be protected. And with these big gusts, you can never really tell. So, um, so we have some glass artists and some potters that'll be joining us Sunday. And the festival seems to have completely recovered from COVID. Is that right? Yes. Thank goodness. Um, and actually, I just recently got off of my little stint with COVID. I made it three whole years without it uh, and tested negative this morning to participate. Do so. <laughs> you have any idea how many states are represented here today? Oh, yeah. I love my metrics. Uh, so we're over 50% South Carolina participation, 78% uh, uh, kind of regional southeastern U.S. Um, and then, of course, we got a couple of really cool wild cards. We've got a Montana and a California. Um, but it's looking like we've got 80, 84 participants total um, between today and tomorrow. Um, but it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good show and we like to keep that variety going. Um, we're, pretty, we're pretty proud of the selection this year. How important is the Jubilee to what you guys do? Oh boy, uh, it's, it's a tourism magnet. Um, these kinds of shows, they don't stand on their own. So uh, just because you say you're having a show this weekend doesn't mean that it's gonna be anything like what we have to offer. Um, we've been going for 46 years. Um, and it seems like each year with the exception of course of 2020, um, we just get more more interesting and more engaged people every time. And the Pillage of Lee has been recognized as one of the top festivals on the East Coast, right? Yes, it sure has. We're really proud. And now I don't know if we've gotten that recognition just recently. I'd have to look, but it is, it is pretty special to us. On a, a good week, how, weekend, how many people come through the Jubilee? Oh, um, our, our numbers from last year were pretty great. We had about 10,000 people on Saturday last, and uh, I think 8,000 the, the, the day after that, the Sunday. I'm thinking uh, tomorrow will be a bigger day, uh, just sort of because of the weather. Um, so I'm excited to see what we come up with. We do sort of a general metric, uh, square footage, head count, congestion, of course, like when you can't get inside somebody's booth, and then to see how that kind of traffic pattern keeps throughout the day. And you know, years ago, Saturday was a big day, and Sunday was kind of off. Are yeah. both days pretty busy now? All yeah, so it's evened itself out. But um, like I said, I'm pretty certain that tomorrow will be even bigger than today. I'm, or Well, that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, this year, we're, we've, uh, we've invited a chainsaw carver. Uh, so he'll be doing a demonstration around, uh, I think it's 5.30 is when we have him, right before the show closes so that nobody gets mad about the noise. <laughs> but um, this is our first year inviting him. We just want to see what he's got to show us. And I think he's a, a pretty good South Carolina staple about interesting and unique art. Jubilee and how this Jubilee is important to your town? Well, Greg, uh, you know, the Jubilee, this is our 46th one. Uh, in a, you know, we have it every year. We've had it for 46 years straight. It's a huge event and people just love it. Uh, one thing, you've, you've got a lot, of, a lot of things to buy at a lot of events you go to and you have them here, but the big difference here is the, the things that you can purchase are handmade and they're unique and they're things that you probably won't see anywhere else. So that's one of the things that makes it so popular. Uh, you know, another thing, you've got some great music here for entertainment. You've got a lot of nice restaurants that, are, that we have in Pendleton. You have food trucks. You've got this beautiful green downtown here. And, and we've been lucky to have great weather almost every year. And, and this this had them cross this morning. Looked a little rough this morning at 8 o'clock. We weren't sure. But uh, by 10, it was, it was pretty much out of here. And we've got a beautiful day here now. So it's been a it's been a great event. People love coming out here to this. You hear from people from all over about this event, don't you? Don't you hear people? We have producers from all over here. All over the country. Yeah, we have people from all over the country, out out west, California, you know, up north. Uh, 
and south of here too. You know, we have people come here from everywhere. And a lot of vendors come from pretty far away to come to this event. And of course, this event is put on by Lake Hartwell Country. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that. Uh, they're uh, great people. They're doing a great job. And they cover Anderson, Oconee, and Pickens counties. And uh, this, is, this is their event, really. We, the town provides a lot of support for it. And uh, we do that. But by and large, they, they handle the vendors. They bring the vendors in here and handle all of that. How important is it is Pendleton now the fastest growing part of the county? How, how important is it to y'all to protect this, this village green in this area here? Well, it's very important. You know, it's, uh, this is such a special place right here that we have to be really careful about the downtown and how we protect it. And we do that with our zoning laws and, uh, and things like that. And uh, we're rewriting our zoning ordinances right now as well, and what they call a UDO. But uh, it is an area where we want to maintain the historical character of it. We want to maintain the uniqueness of it. Um, and that's what we strive to do. Danny O'Driscoll from Batesburg, South Carolina. And tell me about your art. My art is acrylic paintings, and I um, use an airbrush for the background, so it's a little soft, focused background, and I paint sharply the subject matter. It creates a three-dimensional look to the paintings. They're all painted by hand, though. And um, this is something I've been doing professionally for 50 years now. And yes. how, how much often have you participated here at Pendleton? At least the last 25 years. <laughs> so you, what do you think of this festival? This is one of the best festivals, not only because of the quality of the work, but it's a family-oriented festival, from the music to the entertainment to the people that run it. Everything's first class. What kind of response have you gotten from your art from the people coming through here? Everybody loves it. First, the first question is, is it a photograph? <laughs> but it's not. They're acrylic paintings. The storm blew out, looks like another beautiful Pendleton Jubilee. Uh, how many of these Jubilees have you been to, Carol? 
At this point, I've never missed a Jubilee. It has been part of my life for uh, whatever, 1977, I think was 78 was the first one. My sister started it and I worked down at Evans Drug Store at the end of Exchange Street and I've been every year since and I wouldn't miss it for anything. It's a great opportunity to see people in the community having a great time and seeing a lot of people that come to experience the love and the generosity and the pride of Pendleton. So welcome to Spring Jubilee. What makes this special to the town? Well, this event is very special to the town because it uh, gives us an opportunity to show off the town square, in particular the Village Green. Not very many towns in America have what we have and it is great that now the area around the Village Green is so vibrant and filled with business and filled with people that come and enjoy themselves almost every day of the week.